It's May 13th! <laughs> it's time for Watcher Weekly! Welcome to Watcher Weekly, presented by Breather, a show where we kick back, chat, and answer your guys' questions to the best of our ability. I can't kick back when I'm on the ground sitting like this. I guess I could just lift my leg up like a cat. You know what? No, you can do this. You could you could go a little, ooh, like that. Ooh. Oh, you know, if you want to submit questions or comments to us for future episodes of Watcher Weekly, reach out to us on WeAreWatcher, 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 YouTube.com slash watcher, patreon.com slash watcher, uh, facebook.com slash Nailed it. So many I want to see somebody make a tune for that, actually. Somebody out there, you know, for our Watcher Weekly intro, make a little ditty. We are Watcher, we are oh, Watcher, we are Watcher. We are Watcher, we are Watcher, we are Watcher, patreon.com slash watcher, yes. So anyway, I was watching this past week's Watcher Weekly, where we have now switched to the webcam setup, and I noticed, Shane, yeah. you are like, all up in the frame here, just like really close to the camera. I, I'm sitting at a desk, you guys are sitting on couches. I like to be in my desk yeah, and drinking like, my coffee, uh, enjoying my life here. I didn't realize <laughs> this was the time for Steven to bully Shane. Felt what? like yeah, dude. was great. Come on. I loved it, I was just commenting. This is the ghoul boy's bond. You Wait, no, break I can break you it. Try to wiggle your little wormy way into here, but you're not gonna get in between us. I'm center frame, that. baby. Lauren. Oh no! Lauren, put me in center yeah. frame. Shit. <laughs> he like she's the band <laughs> behind you. He's done it. He's gotten between us. How you guys doing? It's the chill zone. How you been? Chilling. <laughs> Oh, that's Pretty what chill. I like to hear. Uh, I decided to make a homemade margarita. I got, I went to Trader Joe's. I got the uh, pre-made margarita mix. They only had the alcoholic version, uh, which was like fine. I thought that was fine. I thought I could make this better, so I bought it. I got, I got a lot of uh, fresh ingredients, some fruit, some jalapenos, and Ooh, uh, it tasted one. like total shit. It was. Um, <laughs> Was it was it a frozen margarita? It was a frozen margarita. I de honestly, mm. frozen was the last thing on my mind. All that I could think was, that's a horrible margarita. I need to fix it. So I tried to fix it, mm. and then the blender exploded, and then I cleaned that up, and then I oh. put in a little bit more, and then I got desperate. You know you get desperate when you just start taking stuff from your fridge? Started just putting in random ingredients, and by the third time, it exploded again, and then I fixed that. It's almost like the blender I mean, was trying I mean, to stop me. Like it was trying to warn me what was about to happen. If you should do a non-blended version. I made margaritas yesterday as well. Did you guys have a margarita uh, party without me? What's going on? I mean, it was Cinco de Mayo. I'll say, it was a good Cinco de Mayo. Hopped on, oh, played Call of Duty. Won Warzone for the first time uh, since I started that? playing that game. Viewers will know. I don't know if that's uh, true. Viewers will know. They'll know. Warzone is like, I don't know, the biggest game online right now. So, uh, Says a lot about you, Steven. <laughs> Get with the times. <laughs> first time. Uh, first you, know what, you know what I bought, actually? You guys, you guys see what this is? Pu uh, yogurt covered razors? These are um, little plain chips for a game called Go. I actually don't know how to play it. Oh. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to reference the Korean drama again. They're playing this a bunch in Ite One class, and so I was like, why not just, just uh, take a stab? I used to love playing chess, I was actually captain of the chess club. That scans. We should play. We should have a chess match next week. Speed chess. I'm. I only learned it like uh, six months ago. Right. Uh, it was slightly before Christmas. I was like, I've always oh, wanted yeah. to learn chess. It was actually when we had moved into our first office, uh, and I. I like just got an understanding of the rules. I always thought like, well, this is impossible. There's too many rules, and then. It took me approximately six <laughs> minutes to learn how to play. <laughs> Which is great because it takes so um, much longer to learn the strategy. Yeah, oh, for sure. I'm terrible at it. Before we get into questions, we have some uh, brief announcements. The final episode of D&D &D is this Sunday. We sort of had that show on Sundays to fill in the gaps while we put together some other series for this uh, these strange quarantine times, but we've got some exciting stuff coming your way. However, there will not be stuff on Sundays going forward now. Nothing will That's be taking true. the place of d and At least for now. It'll just go to the uh, to the other world. Yeah, uh, that's not to say there won't be stuff on Sundays in the future. I think it's a fun day to do stuff on. We also have Hear What You Do on Mondays. There's another one coming out this Monday. We should put that on YouTube, right? If we get a bunch of comments saying, put that on YouTube, then we'll do it. Because some people like, some people like watching podcasts, is that Yeah, the they do. I gotta say, the episodes so far are really fun. It's weird when you record them. 
because the, the first one I was like, man, that was a blast. And then we recorded episodes two and three, and I remember feeling really low energy during them. I went back and listened. They're a delight. I'm kicking back, baby. I'm laying down recording those. <laughs> It's great. Oh yeah. We do have the video feed from, I believe, episode three on. So maybe we will go back and, and show those. We'll just have to put a Watcher logo over That's Ryan's right, because I was wearing a tank top, a loose fitting tank oh. top, and one of my nipples was fully exposed. I didn't think that anyone would ever see that. That was purely for Steven and Shane's enjoyment. Also new episode of Homemade this week. That's right. It is actually another sponsored episode. State Farm worked with this for, for episode one and they loved it so much. They came back and they're going to be sponsoring this upcoming episode, which is on pho. We have my good friend, Kathy Wynn as a guest and it's the mother's recipe with a twist by the sun. Yeah, very exciting. I'm excited to see it. Another episode of Homemade to tickle the heartstrings. Is that what they? Pl pluck on those heartstrings? To make you yeah, feel yeah, emotions. Just, um, you would think pluck or tickle would make more sense. No one's tugging on strings. Let's answer some cues, cues. boys. Here's one from uh, Patreon. As always, we'll be answering more of these Patreon questions on our bonus show, Watcher Weekly Plus, over at patreon.com slash watcher. Here's one from Isabella Carino. This is getting a lot of heat on the net. Thoughts on the Ryan Bergara smoking weed in a haunted hotel room petition. It has almost 1,500 signatures. I Ryan, have, have seen, you seen that. This? I saw a lot of people saying, thank you for signing that. And I realized somebody said their name was Ryan Bergara and then signed it. Yeah. <laughs> and signed it? What if they were actually fun. named Ryan Bergara and you are thinking that they're an imposter, but they're actually mm. you? Impossible. There's only one other Ryan Bergara and he wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't do that to you? Solidarity? We're tight. Me and him talk actually uh, semi-regularly. Do you really? Yeah, he's an interesting guy. Yes. Maybe he thought it was about him. I don't think so, because um, he often sends me tweets and Gmail that's sent to him for people thinking that I am him. So he kind <gasps> of like is a, is a courier in a way. Um, I did sign it with my own name, uh, so that's not an imposter. That's me on there. Ryan, would you, would it make you, would you be more chill or would you be more anxious? If oh, were... I think it would drive me more insane. I think I'd be even more paranoid than I normally am. But you know what? I'm willing to do that for the internet if, uh... Wait, you are gonna do it? What's what's the goal? I don't know. I don't know when we would do that, though. Would that be like a one-off thing? Yeah. It, it would be a one-off thing and then potentially a 500-episode series. <laughs> wow. Just, a, <laughs> just me getting high in a haunted house. I don't know if I want to make a career out of getting high on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I think getting I'm okay. High all the time. Here's a good cue from Twitter. This is from Ryan Ghoul. What's your message to all graduating students out there? Oh. Obviously a strange time. People are graduating uh, without uh, in-person ceremonies. Yeah, uh, we actually are doing a little segment on that in Watcher Weekly. Um, you'll, I think you may have seen the social posts uh, that we put out on our various platforms about having people submit videos of them virtually walking past screen so they could shake my hand. I will be graduating them on a future um, incarnation of Watcher Weekly. Uh, maybe we could show a, a quick little snippet of that right now. And now I'll show you what the final version is, what that looks like. So, Wapa. Taylor Lau. Congratulations, Taylor. Michael Fassbender. Great, great clip, by the way. But what is with the left-handed handshake? The left-handed handshake was because they needed, uh, that's the only way they could have walked left to right on screen, which is the typical graduation procedure. You had this crazy uh, explanation for it, and I, I don't know that Okay, I that's why, because if they do it like this, is if the, if the outside of their hand is facing the camera, I would have to rotoscope my hand out. Have you ever it, shaken hands with somebody using your left hand before? I have, all the time, actually. But there was a club I was in in college where they taught you to shake with your left hand because your right hand at a dinner party or a cocktail party usually has a drink in it, and it's usually all wet. Uh, we got another question here. So, at Charlie Mason 1999 says from Instagram, uh, do you brush your teeth before or after showering? I'm curious. I don't think I have a set routine. There was a while, a long time ago, when I lived in the Midwest and I wasn't as concerned about wasting water. When I would brush my teeth in the shower. I do that now. But it feels like a waste. How is it a now. waste? You're still, you're saving water. If anything, you're doing a two for one. Yeah, but you're spending more time, in, unless you're brushing your teeth and like, 
That's you... exactly what I do. Well, no, actually, oh, okay. I have to let my shampoo sit in my hair. So I, <laughs> with a blue color. But, oh, um, the conditioner. Oh. And so, Special yeah. shampoo. Special shampoo. Yeah. Now, do you guys pee in the shower? I don't pee in the shower, because that's gross. Shane, do you pee in the shower? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> super disgusting. I'm sure you've peed in the shower before. Like you were, you forgot to use the bathroom before you get in the shower, and you're like, "Oh my god, I have to pee," and you pee, and you're like, "Wow, yes, that's nice." It's, it's not no, like it's that's a not habit. What I, no, no, that's that's like the it's same really, kind of thought of like, "Oh, I, I have to pee really bad. I'm not near a bathroom. I guess I'll just piss my pants." Like that's not. I that's, find them equally not, not the same at thing. all. I gotta be honest. I feel sorry for you. I got a good question. This is from Instagram. It's uh, from Thea K. Stefan. Stefan, okay. uh, do the Watcher Boys ever get any hate? If so, how do they deal? Oh, with all the time, dude. Even in my own company. I <laughs> <laughs> I just roasted myself. Uh, no, for real, real question. That's pretty normal on the internet. Like, it's not like I'm getting a ton of hate, but sure, people are like, hey man, uh, can't believe you, I don't know, like ate that gold. Cool, I don't know. You have to, you have to kind of just weigh the legitimacy of the claim. If it's a real uh, complaint, I'll take it seriously, but typically they're not. Yeah, yeah, I would say for our audience, we tend to get less than I would but you know, it's a very supportive crowd that enjoys our content, I think. We do get them every now and then. I usually, I'm usually quite delighted by them. I am as well. Uh, I think they're great. Ryan, I think, tends to use them as fuel, whereas I sort of just laugh at them and then move on. If they're like, oh, this, this show's not gonna work, then I use them as fuel. But if they're about me yeah. personally, I mm -hmm. am equally as delighted by them as Shayna, uh, just because I think they're very funny. We do come from a more of a place of privilege, by the way, being men on the men? internet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It's a lot different. If you ever reply to a hate comment with thanks, but like an exclamation mark, I, I can't remember. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a, it really boils their blood. Yeah, it's very fun. Next question. This one's from Twitter, at RetroQHearts. And since we're closing out D&D this week, what has been your favorite thing about playing as D&D and D so far? Well, I, well, I'll start and just say that I I am delighted at how you've all sunk into your characters and in, inhabited them by the the strange decisions that you make. Uh, and it's been fun for me to be a DM, but it's also a lot of work. Uh, so, <laughs> the the escape is fun. I think that's the, been the most fun mm -hmm. part for me. You get to escape from the world a little bit and, and uh, run around with your little creatures and pals. Yeah, I think um, Stephanos is probably about like 50% me and then 50% insane version of me uh, mm -hmm. with a broken family. You'll learn more about that on this episode, by the way. Yes, it's a, it's a nightmare. You certainly will. Yeah, you really will. Yeah, we, we have some like K-drama flashbacks in that episode. The other part of all this that I think is fun is seeing all the fun feedback from people who've been watching it. Mm. A lot of great fan art. We do have a special uh, episode featuring some of the fan art. Spoiler alert. I think that about does it for this week's Watcher Weekly. Any Anything else for you guys? Yeah, I got something. You got something? Oh. All the people out there who are still working out there and protecting our country, like, I gotta say thank you so much for all that you're doing. Uh, yes. Really, like, every single day you put yourself out there, it's it's uh, saving lives, doing good work, so we really appreciate it. Uh, uh, we'll see you next week? Huh? I guess so. See you next oh, we'll week. We'll see you next time.